Today's show, we're taking a look from McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, The Grifter. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I'm your host, Red. And we are looking at the Grifter. This is a character that at first I was like, oh, what is this? Like a red hood with a, uh, a weird sack in his face or a weird, uh, I don't know, cloth in his face. But kind of changed my mind when I saw him with the uh, Thomas Wayne in the Flashpoint. And I said, you know what? I got to get this guy because if Thomas Wayne is going to fight the Crintonian invasion, and sorry guys, if you haven't read the last uh, Flashpoint, that is a spoiler there. I figured he'd probably want to put together a team, and why not this guy? And believe it or not, now we'll, before we do the housekeeping and we look at the toy photography or the trading card, I just want to say that it's kind of weird. I kind of went to a YouTube led me down a rabbit hole but my understanding is that this character actually started an image comics and was sold off to dc and i think that image wanted to do and i think dc wanted because i, I honestly think they wanted their own brand of a deadpool not and i know deadpool i guess is a dead guy that came back and has got abilities but this guy's kind of similar in that aspect but in my world, he's going to be a little bit more serious. He's going to be not a sidekick, but working with Thomas Wayne, since that's what he wanted to do in the Flashpoint. So now, now we've talked about that. Let's do a little housekeeping. McFarlane, thank you for the, another DC stand. But melt this, you would have given us more hands, maybe some punching hands, grabbing hands, whichever. We've got a knife that comes with the grifter. Very beautiful knife, very sculpted. Kind of looks like the Joker knife with this edge here, the one that comes with the Mortal Kombat. Feels very squared off. And the fact that you gave him a sword because DC and Warner Brothers stupidity doesn't allow guns. Um, they gave him the sword, so it kind of makes you feel like you're dealing with Deadpool, which, again, is a ripoff. You're trying to copy somebody else, but... I love that McFarlane released the last two or the last accessory pack. The first one, the second one, kind of like an FU to DC. And I don't know if this is a CD rendering or if this is a um, the action figure photography, but you guys know that I always love that. And here's his story. And not a lot. They should have put more there. But with that said, guys, pause it. Not. Nah, let's move on. Let's look at the figure. I will tell you that a lot of people have been buying this figure and using the body, taking the grifter's head off to make other action figures, which is not a bad idea because we do need regular that are not uh, superheroes. Maybe like the guy from the Suicide Squad. Uh, but overall, look at the details. I understand that this thing draped over his face is supposed to stop gas and other things. Kind of like a helmet, but in a cloth mode on it. I also know that he's got telekinesis power so he can move objects with his mind. He's got, and again, it, not that Deadpool has that, but they want to give him those extra abilities. Love the wrinkle in the coat. Look at that, guys. Look at that design. I mean, McFarlane has been cranking these out. And it's just been amazing what they've been doing. The level of detail. I want to show you something that I've been staring at. And I said, wow. Look at that. Look at the weathering on the boots. It's just a silver dry brush. But to make it look like the leather's been peeling. Like, you know, you've seen shoes like that all scuffed up. And look at the, the laces on it. Overall, happy with the figure. Happy to add him next to Thomas Wayne. Um, 
to battle uh, the Kryptonians with this guy. And I'll definitely be making my own version of the Flashpoint Justice League. Look at that. So, I mean, and, and I've seen a lot of people already getting this guy, taking this off as well. So, put him over here so you guys can see him. And guys, I, I, I don't know if McFarlane's aware of the top heaviness his figures are. It's just so annoying when they're always falling all over the place. Sorry about that. I hit the tripod. All right. Back in focus again. So again, guys, this is just a very beautiful figure that I was not planning on getting, but I really liked it. Um, I'm a lost of words how good this figure looks. Got the blonde hair. Cash the Grifter Cole. Cash Cole. So let's begin with the articulation, which I did mess around with. And lately, guys, uh, McFarlane's been giving us these hands that look like trigger hands, so we don't get any guns. But I've noticed that these are a soft plastic, a little blow dryer there, and they open up very well. But let's take a look. So you don't get a lot of head movement because of the jacket hitting, you know, his chin there or the device that he's got on. We do get that much of a, of a you know, looking up. And, and guys, if you notice some of the stop motion animators, what they've been doing is they've been popping the head, putting some poster putty on the, on the, you know, the bolt or the socket that holds it in place and they're able to get that range. So don't be fooled by that. We do get a nice T pose, nothing infringing there on it. As you guys can see by the figure, we do get. I already see it. I see the cutoff, and luckily, I already was already articulating. We do get that. There is no butterfly joint in there. At least I don't see any. We do get a bicep swivel, and the fact that he can reach back here, but we didn't get a holster for for the for the swords. So that's a little disappointing there. Um, you know, the elbow's been sculpted in. It feels very ratchety, and it's fine. The uh, hands are on that joint that I don't like so it does swivel you do get that uh, swivel and let me make sure that I'm able to turn it for you guys here so before I continue with the articulation let's take a look at the weapons in his hands real quickly and we'll continue with the articulation I know I'm going from uh, I've already heated up the hands and put the sword and knife in his hand so his hands should be open to hold them so here you go guys so you guys can see i'm holding the sword and the knife let's continue with the articulation you get that there nothing up here because all this is one piece you get that there you get this far out it kind of looks like you got a thigh cut but you don't have that in there so not way not too much there Double jointed knees, nothing there. We knew that was coming. We see the sculpt is put in there in the joint. You can see that there. So we'll take a look now at that, the ankle articulation. It does swivel. It's in there. And last but not least, you do get a toe articulation. So overall, it's a very nice figure that they put together. Will look great in your display. Does articulate very, very well. So guys, you shouldn't have a problem uh manipulating this guy for your cameras this guy will definitely move it does feel mo uh, smooth after you um put a blow dryer to the joints it does work very well now he wants to fall and i don't feel like dealing with a blooper today and so let me see here and there you go guys and so there he is. So let me know, guys, what you're thinking about the about the Grifter. Is this something you're going to add to your collection? I'm definitely added because of the Flashpoint. I wasn't going to originally, but because he did ask Thomas Wayne to join him, I wanted to get him now to add it, and it makes a different addition than what uh, Flashpoint has. Flashpoint doesn't have a Justice League. At least I don't remember one in there. And I'm 
huge fan of the Flashpoint. So let me know in the thoughts what you think. If this is a guy you're going to add to your shelf, definitely in your collection or your movies. So please don't forget to hit the like notification. Don't forget to hit the bell. And guys, a lot of you have been watching the videos and I truly appreciate the growth you've been giving me to the channel. So please subscribe to this channel. It helps me continue to grow to be a full-time YouTuber. So I'm here with Cash Cole, the grifter. We're done with the review. So thanks a lot for watching. I will see you on the next one. Me and the grifter, we are out.